So Kevin Durant is basically allegedly had opened his mouth and met with Joe Sy, the Brooklyn Nets owner, and stated that he does not believe in the direction that the Brooklyn Nets are headed. And he stated that the team must choose between him or firing a combination of Steve Nash and General Manager Sean Marks. So this is according to Shams, and I'm reading this via Bleacher Report. Kevin Durant, let's go, let's go down the trial of situations. He got there, he got his, I think it was a three-year, $141 million deal, guaranteed. And this is coming off of his Achilles injury. Didn't play the first season. Only played a total of like a little over 80, 80 games, something like that. Got a new four-year contract. Of course, you know, with all the injuries and the Kyrie situation, the James Harden situation, people were basically giving Kevin Durant an out for what happened to him, for his turmoil and his tenure right now in Brooklyn. But now that he has requested his trade and now he's putting out this information that they need to fire Steve Nash and Sean Marks, people are starting to turn on Kevin Durant because, to be honest with you, this is all of Kevin Durant's doing. You got to wear that. You're the leader of the team. You know, you made the choices. Like, people are all on Twitter right now trying to basically say that Kevin Durant had no say in who the head coach was going to be in hiring Steve Nash. And I just find that to be just unbelievable that anybody would even make that type of statement. Kevin Durant 100% had a say in who the coach was going to be, and they chose Steve Nash. We're not going to sit here and act like, try to switch the narrative and act like Kevin Durant didn't have a say in that. They ruined that culture that was being built in Brooklyn with Kenny Atkinson, and they wanted Kenny Atkinson out. Then Kyrie said they don't really need a coach. These are things that were actually happening. So Kevin Durant now, and I'm a Kevin Durant fan, but we just got to keep it honest right now. He's making a lot of excuses for not getting it done. Of course, he had a lot of injuries, not only to himself, but to the team. But... He has to wear that hat. LeBron has to wear that hat. It's on you when you fail. It's on you when you lose. And right now, the Brooklyn tenure is a failed experiment. And I don't know what's going to be happening going forward. I don't see them. I think they may fire Steve Nash. I don't see them letting go of Sean Marks. But that's my statement, my comments on this situation. I would like to know yours. Let me know down in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. To the next one.